How's it going? This is Hoyman, and today we're taking a look at the Figma Oolala figure. So for the front of the packaging, you have a nice window display to see pretty much everything inside. And then the packaging has a really nice pink color scheme, pink and white, so it's really nice, really suits the character. The top, you just have a picture of the figure. It's pretty much the same thing on both sides, but you do get different pictures. And then the bottom's the same as the top. And on the back, you have various pictures of the figure. And then down here, you have some legal stuff. To open the box, just lift open the top flap. And then just remove the front cover. And there's the figure all together with her accessories. So first you do get some instructions showing what the figure comes with and how to operate the accessories. So here's the actual figure. And overall I feel that Figma did a really good job with this figure. Definitely captures the lightness of Oolala really well. And overall, the quality of the figure just feels really good. Just overall, really great job. So looking at the face, I feel that they've definitely captured the likeness of Oolala. Looks just like her from pretty much all angles. And the eyes are really nicely painted on. And I do especially like how the lips have a nice glossy finish. Really adds a nice effect. Then you move on to the hair, which is really well sculpted. You can see all the strands in each individual hair. And overall, all the texture continues throughout the hair. Looks very nice and realistic. And then finally, you have the nice microphone headset, which is painted in nice silver metallic paint. Really nice contrast from the matte finish of her hair. Down to her torso. I especially like how the white is actually painted in a nice pearl white color. Definitely adds a really nice effect to the figure. And then the Space Channel 5 logo is really nicely painted on, on the chest. Looks really good. And then the thrusters on the back uh, have a nice metallic finish. Same for the rim on the collar. And then of course the orange is nicely applied inside there as well. Same for the forearms, nice pearl finish for the white. And then you have the nice matte finish of the orange inside. And then down to her body, again, really well sculpted. And then the skirt continues the nice pearl white with the silver rim. And then down to her legs, very simple, but well sculpted. I especially do like how they use the metallic blue for the ring around her leg, looks really nice. And of course you have the nice orange color underneath the skirt as well. And then just like the forearms, the shoes are really nicely painted. They look really nice. And then the heels are really well sculpted and detailed as well. Nice metallic red finish. So for articulation, the neck is on a double ball joint, so one at the top and one at the base. So you can look down about that much, which is quite a lot. And the ball joint at the base really can extend outwards, so it gives a lot of range. She so can look up about that much, and then she can tilt her head side to side as well as twist. And then each pigtail is on a ball joint, so you can move it back and forth and Tilt it side to side, like so. The shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can move that around the torso however you like. And then you can also bring your arm out to the side. Bring your arm forward, bring your arm back. She does have slight bicep swivel. And then single jointed elbow. And then she's got the ball jointed wrists. And then the torso, it's on a ball joint. So she can lean forward about that much, not really too much. She lean back quite a lot. Can lean side to side as well as twist. 
and then each thruster on the back is on the ball joint so you can adjust those however you like and then for the hips they're on the ball joint so you can move her legs however you want and then you can also twist and then each leg is on the ball joint so she can kick about that far to the side and the skirt is a softer material so it doesn't restrict the leg too much she kick forward about that much kick back that much and then she does have the thigh swivel as well and then single jointed knee and then she's got the ball jointed ankle so you can go back that much for that much you can lean side to side as well as twist so overall, because of Ooh La La's more simple design, she has quite a lot of range of motion in articulation. So you should be able to get all the poses that you'd want. But that's the figure. Let's take a look at the accessories. So for faces, she only comes with this default face. And to be honest, I feel that's pretty much all you need for Ooh La La. But to compensate that, you can actually move her eyes and include this accessory here so you plug it into the eye and then you can move them about however you like so even though she only comes with one face you can get a lot of range because you can move the eyes about for hands she comes with a pair of open palmed hands and then a rack of various hands so she comes with two fists two hands to hold her microphone two more open palmed hands and two pointing hands and then she also comes with these pair of hands to hold her weapon and then she also comes with a spare wrist joint just in case one of them breaks or goes missing comes with a microphone really well sculpted and detailed nice use of metallic and glossy finishes on the paint and then the logo around the rim is really nicely painted on as well and then she comes with a main weapon, again really well sculpted and has a nice glossy finish. And then there's a hole on this side so that you can attach the gun to her thigh. Like so. And then for whatever reason she comes with another gun. And I would have ex suspected that maybe this one wouldn't have the hole. But it does actually have the hole as well so... For whatever reason, she comes with two, so I suppose just in case you lose one, you have a spare. And then she also comes with three Molarians, which are really well sculpted and detailed, have a nice matte finish, but the visor has a nice glossy finish. And then the red slowly fades into a nice yellow for the antennas. And that's pretty much the same for the other two as well. She comes with a Figma display base, so you have the three hinges, and then she also comes with a peg as well, so that's nice. And then finally she comes with a Figma bag. So my final thoughts are, overall this is just an amazing figure of Ooh La La. Figma did a really good job capturing the likeness of the character, and she just looks overall really nice. All the paintwork is very nice and clean, has a nice pearl and glossy and metallic finishes and she comes with a good range of accessories as well. But despite that, I do have some gripes with the figure. So firstly, I'd like to say this isn't actually my first Ooh La La figure. The first Ooh La La figure I got actually had two right forearms. So there was definitely a quality control issue there and I asked for a replacement but the company refused me so I ended up having to buy another one so that's a bit unfortunate and a bit scummy to be honest on their part on the company and then more gripes I suppose I have for whatever reason on her hand here it seems really textured for some reason it's supposed to be all smooth like the other hands but something must have messed up in the paint department on the hand here so that's a bit unfortunate. I suppose another minor gripe is probably Ooh La La coming with two of the same gun. I would have liked it if they had one gun where it has the hole and then the other gun actually has the logo on the other side. Because having two seems a bit redundant. But it's a very minor gripe. 
I guess another gripe I have with the figure is probably the fire area. So whenever you move the figure, whenever the fire touches against the skirt, it seems to always have some paint transfer of silver, but that can be easily removed. So it's nothing too major, but it's just something I'd like to point out. So overall, despite those gripes, I feel that this is an excellent figure of all our line. They definitely did a really good job. And if you're a fan of the character or the games, then I can recommend this figure. But I will say the figure has only been out for a few years, but she's actually quite hard to track down. I spent a long time trying to find a second Ulala figure and it took me a while to find her for a decent price. So she is really expensive in a lot of places, but if you can find her for a price you're willing to pay, then I can still recommend this figure. And just as a final thing, here's the Figma Ulala next to my own custom figure of Ulala. So I know the likeness isn't exactly as accurate as the Figma, but I basically made this figure sometime in 2013, 2014. So quite a few years before this figure even existed. So back then I always wanted an ooh la la figure. So I decided to create my own and this is the outcome and yeah, <laughs> overall it's, I don't think it's really aged that well. Like a lot of the paint seems to have kind of rubbed off over the years, but I don't know, I'm still happy with how he, she turned out. It's definitely difficult sculpting a figure from complete scratch especially sculpting a human face as well. So, so I'm definitely happy that Figma made an official figure of Ulala. So I just thought I'd like to make a comparison between the two. But that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures.